Hi guys, um, I'm going to do something that I'm not entirely sure why I'm going to do this on camera for the first time but do you know what, like I got quite a lot of stick for the video that I did about the facial hair removal stuff and um, a lot of people were like, oh you can't do this to your face, it's going to ruin your skin, blah 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 um, I have been doing that for absolutely years and I've never ever 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 had any problems with using like the hair removal cream so it was like a video called how to remove hair facial hair the painless way and I still stick by that method I'm still gonna carry on with it I'm never gonna change what I do because I've never had any problems I don't have dark patches on my face um, and the only thing with that that is a little bit risky is when you leave it on too long and your skin goes red and it feels a little bit burny. But most of the time you apply a really good night cream on and then you go to bed and when you wake up in the morning you're like hair free and it's just so nice. So um, I've never actually waxed my face before. However, when I first started getting facial hair, like my mum said the easiest way to get it done was when I was getting my eyebrows threaded was just to get my face threaded as well. And Honestly, let me tell you, most painful experience of my entire life. I nearly cried, my eyes were watering, and this poor girl, who was like, probably only in her 20s, was like, do you want me to stop? And I was like, well no, because now half my face is going to be hairy and half isn't. So, I really needed to find a quick facial hair method that was going to get rid of the hair, and that was the method I chose to use, um, that one time. And never ever again. So I figured waxing was just going to be as painful. But because I got a lot of stick for the video and people were like, oh no, you should wax, it's so much better. I thought, do you know what, I'm going to give it a go and I'm going to do it in front of you guys and just see what the hell happens. Um, so I bought these V, like I bought these ages ago, but it really took me like a lot of courage to like do this. Um, especially number one on camera for the first time. And number two, like even to buy them. So I got these V hair... Um, face strips, easy grip, ready to use wax strips, um, effective on short hair, up to four weeks of smoothness, 20 wax strips and four finish wipes. Um, basically the instructions are all like on the back and it said that it's designed for use on face, underarms, bikini, not suitable for the head, breast, bum hole area or genital areas or any other part of the body. Um, do not use on veins, scars, moles, broken, irritated, sunburnt skin. Um, hair should be between 1.5 millimeters and 5 millimeters long. If the hair is longer, trim it with scissors. I'd be really worried if my hair on my face was more than half a centimeter long. Um, waxing is not suitable for the elderly. Um, if you've not waxed before, we recommend starting removing hair from the legs. Or maybe I should try my arm first. Um, no, because then I'm going to end up with a patch on my arm and I can't be bothered to do the rest of it. Um, after waxing, we recommend waiting 24 hours before using antiperspirants or other, any other perfume stuff. Um, if there is no adverse reaction after 24 hours, begin waxing fully. That's pretty much it. So, basically, you get these little waxy strip things. I'm going to turn the viewfinder on so I can make sure that all of this is a view while I'm doing this. So, little waxy things that look like this. And it says on the instruction packet that you need to rub the wax strips between your hands for about five seconds to warm the wax. So, do that first. And then slowly peel the strips apart to obtain two ready-to-use strips. Then treat each side of your lip separately, place the strip on one half of your upper lip and repeatedly rub in the direction of the hair grows, away from the nose, so I'd kind of like rub it in that direction. Hold your skin taut to avoid discomfort and then very quickly and in one swift motion, pull the strip back on itself towards the nose. The faster you remove the strip, the more effective it will be. Reuse each strip until it loses its grip. After waxing, remove it remove any excess wax with a V perfect finish wipe. Oh my god, here we go. Okay, so little waxy bit, rubbing it between my hands. My hands are actually quite warm because I was just eating my dinner, so um, they're kind of all nice and warm for my little pasta dish. So I'm just going to keep rubbing because, I don't know, I'm a bit nervous now and I really don't want to do this, but I'm going to do it. Um, because it's something I wanted to try again after I got all the comments on my video but if this is like in the slightest bit uncomfortable trust me I'm not doing this ever again um, 
so I figured I'm gonna have to do one side for like one I'm gonna do like the lip bit my lip hair is not really that long it's more like the side burny bits I was more worried about because they kind of look a little bit werewolfy again um oh my god I can't believe I'm doing this okay so let's peel these bad boys apart um so two little waxy bits on there I'm gonna put one on the table and I'm just gonna apply this I'm just gonna use like my mirror so I can get a bit closer and see what the hell I'm doing and I'm just gonna like apply it I can't even see what I'm doing stupid things in the way okay so why is it so long why is it supposed to be this long okay right rub in opposite direction I can't believe anyone's face is this long but it says to do two halves of the lips so let's rub this bad boy on my face you know what if this is like a really disastrous video there's absolutely no way I'm uploading this but do you know what I haven't even like taken my makeup off completely it's just to rub like a few times in the opposite direction and you are going to see some makeup coming off of this because I was like nervous enough as it is and then to do this without makeup on to like right I think we're ready okay so that looks pretty secure I'm just hoping this is not actually on my lip no okay it's like just above my lip oh god what if I peel my lip off I don't even think about this properly I can't see what the hell I'm doing how do people do this like every day right okay are you ready pull the skill skin torn right hang on have I left it on long enough shoot okay um place it rub repeatedly in the direction of the opposite direction no rub rub repeatedly in the direction your hair grows away from the nose how come her wax strip is like this big and mine is like <laughs> this big doesn't tell you to cut it anywhere stupid things just stupid things okay this is just like ridiculous but they should make these smaller for people's faces okay right pull the skin like torn taut like let me just get my little fingers in there and I'm just gonna pull it like I'm gonna stretch my face a little bit ready one two three Right, I cannot see any little hairs on here at all. So basically, it did F all. Right, hang on, let me just look. There must be some little hairs on here somewhere. Let me just grab my little mirror. Oh no, hang on. I think I think I can see some. I think I can see some little hairs on there. Or that might just be my skin. Okay, ow, that really stung. Right. I've still got some wax left on my lip but what I'm gonna do is use the other half of this like for my side burny bits because they look really ugly and I just really want to get rid of those so this to me is like the most important thing to get rid of but if this works I'm gonna be really really impressed so that goes there and then pull the hair in the direction oh god it like really stings it's supposed to sting hang on and now I've got wax stuck everywhere. Right, let me try it here. Let's rub this. Rub, rub, rub. Rub, rub. I'm actually really nervous. I, I can't believe I'm doing this on fucking camera. Okay. So, I'm sorry about all the swearing. I really should put some sort of disclaimer at the top. Okay, so we're going to rub a little bit more. Basically, I figured the more it sticks, the more it was going to grab the hair. And then the more it's gonna be better for me so hang on let me just get like a little face cloth and just use it to like rub it off because I'm getting like loads of wax on my hair like hands and stuff so I don't even know if this is like the right method to do but it's like my own little method ready so I'm gonna pull my skin down so it's like stretched and I totally have pulled it the wrong way but I'm gonna rip from this side now oh well god I'm so nervous this is gonna really hurt because this is like really sensitive. Ready? Steady. <gasps> oh my god, I want my mum. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Woo! That 
that was a good one. That was a fucking good one. Now I've got now I've got a, like a streak on my face, so I have to get rid of the rest of it. Okay, that definitely worked because I can see like a whole little patchy of hair, and I'm just gonna put this like um, next to it because there's hair like above it and below it. I really should have like done this because I don't think you're supposed to like wax the same area twice. But I'm gonna put this bit further down. I'm going to do the same again. Oh my god, I'm so going to have to do the other side now, aren't I? This is like ridiculous. Okay, I think I can upload longer videos now, so it's fine. Um, so, that was fucking painful. I'm sorry, but it like... I'm so sorry about the swearing. Like, I really am going to have to put a disclaimer in here because it's just not right for the little kiddly, kiddies. And then look at that the red bit there. Like, oh god, I'm just turning into like some sort of mess. Okay. I have to do the back bit because there's a little bit of hair like growing there. Right, ready? Oh god. Okay, hang on. Pull the hair. It says it's less painful if you pull the pull the skin a little bit. Ready? Okay, well it's definitely working. Do you know what? I still got like random bits of hair in places where I don't really want it. It just didn't start high enough really. I just, I'm going to be left with like these streaks on my face and I really like don't approve of that. It just doesn't look very pretty, does it? Okay, I'm going to start a little bit higher because again, I've just got, I'm going to do like the bit above it now. I can't really see what I'm doing, like I can't see where I'm putting it. And obviously I don't want to keep putting the hair on the same bit because that's just not a very good idea. So, if I move my little strippy down and if I put like the wax just above like a little bit above where I did the last one and we'll see if we can grab some of the hair from there God, I cannot believe I'm still doing this on film okay so let's go let's go let's go people right let me start doing the other parts of my face as well so let's do like the other half of my lip actually do you know what let's do the side burning bit first I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to go for it. Like, seriously, I'm like halfway there. We might as well just honestly freaking go for it. So, that is going to go in there. Right. I'm gonna just, I can't even pull them together because you've got to keep your skin, like, sensible. I probably should, I can probably do this all with like, two strips, though. Right. Let's just look like this because it looks so cool. Um, right, I think this is enough. I'm really scared of pulling this bit because I know I've like overlapped the area like four times and my skin is going to be like a little defeathered chicken's bum. Right, so let's just go for it, go for it, go for it. Go, go, go! Go, 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 people! Ready? <sighs> okay, okay, we're so nearly there. Like, we are so nearly there. Like, what do you do with these friggin' little waxy bits, like, near your face? Like, I really don't know what to do with that. I mean, to be honest, the hair has gone. It is not the most pleasant experience of my life. Um, but now, what I'm thinking is, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, let's just get rid of this bad boy first. Ready? Let's just go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Ready? Oh my god, it fucking hurts. So now my skin's just like two different colours. It's supposed to look like that. Is it fucking supposed to look like that? Probably not. I'm getting screwed over by V. Okay, hang on. I think it's because I got makeup on half my skin. I've just taken all my skin off. Right, let's do this on the bit next to it. And then I think. That's like this section done. Oh my god, I don't want to do this again. Just do it, just do it, just do it, Trisha. Just go for it. So this video is probably going to get cut off anyway because I'm not supposed to film for more than like a certain amount of time. So I'm just going to do this and then we'll do the last bit and then I will do another video to explain my, my feelings on this particular method. So let's go, 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 go. I'm going to have to put this up in two parts, I'm afraid, people, because I cannot get this horrible experience into one part. So, let's just rub this nicely. 
actually no, you know what, I'm going to take my time, I'm not going to rip any more skin off my face because it's painful and I think I'm just going to do like the other half of my lip. So now I'm just sticking hair back on my face, like is this what people do, is this what people look like when they do this, I really don't know. But I can tell you one thing, it's working because I can see the hair on the wax, I can see pretty long straggly ones as it may be the case. Right, ready? Let's just go for it, actually, you know what, let me do this a little bit because there's not much, oh my god, I've just stuck it up my nose. Okay, ready, ready, ready? There wasn't a lot of hair left on my lip, so, well, I'm not doing that again because that's not fun. Ready? Right, I'm going to do this bit and then I'm done. <sighs> right, I'm not doing this anymore. That hurts. My face now looks streaky. And then I have to use apparently one of these little waxy like wipes. So has a little wipey which you use. So I'm going to use the wipey. And I hope this doesn't friggin sting because I will be quite upset if it stings. Okay, so that's taken off the wax, like the excess wax. It says also you can use baby oil and a cotton pad if the wax doesn't come off. Um, my face looks quite streaky in colour now because it did just remove some of my makeup. But that's okay, like that's fine. I will come back as soon as I've done this and I will tell you about how my face feels. Um, it's a little bit red, it's not like, it's not hurting anymore, it is a little bit red. Uh, let me just basically like wash my face and sort my face out and then I will, like I said, come back and explain this all to her. My face like definitely hair free because I can feel it's nice and smooth. Um, but let's just, I'm going to like finish up, clean up and then I'll come back to you people. 